day 12. Holy Cool. Is that a marshmallow? It is unicorn dream. One had tons of ingredients. Let's see how fast I can go through this. It is apple, hibiscus blossoms, coconut, lemongrass, artificial cotton candy flavoring, marshmallows. I was right. Okay, and then it goes to bean peel, heart sprinkles, candied pineapple, unicorn sprinkles. No idea that what that would be. It says rice flour, sugar, cocoa butter, potato starch, beetroot juice, concentrate. Cool. Sugar pearls. Oh, this is gonna be sweet. Uh, butterfly pea flowers, candied papaya, marlow blossoms. And then Sandy Everlasting Flower, Rose, Raspberry, Sunflower Blossoms, and Stevia Extract. Okay, sweet and fruity and uh, floral is what I'm thinking. So the tea has been brewed. Unicorn Dream, or is it Dreams? Unicorn Dream, no S. Uh, I checked online and right now there is no price listed on the david's tea website which makes me think they're out right now or discontinued but sometimes they bring teas back and since they put it in the advent calendar i think they're probably in the works of bringing it back and it was still on the site it just didn't have a price so i think it's coming back it's just not available currently um i also wanted to check because of all the ingredients how many grams of sugar there was because there was marshmallow there was candied pineapple there was a lot of fruit in this tea Surprisingly, it was only one gram of sugar, just like the Forever Nuts in the previous video. Um, so I guess it's not super sweet. It does smell very fruity though, so I don't really think you need to add sugar unless, you know, you want to. So yeah, strength level, pretty decent, not bad. Um, sweetness, definitely, I think it's sweeter than uh, the Forever Nuts personally, even though it said it was the same level of sweetness. And the flavor, I like it, but there is something off for it for me, and I'm trying to pinpoint it right now. So after looking at the ingredients, I think I'm picking up on the papaya, and I'm not a big fan of papaya. So there's candy papaya in this, and I think that is why I'm not the biggest fan of the flavor of this tea. I do actually think it blends really well, but you know, if you don't like a certain flavor of a fruit, you're probably not going to like that tea, right? So. I don't think it's bad and I will still drink it. I just personally will not buy it myself. So that's my take on this mini review. I think it's a great tea. I would recommend it, especially if you like everything in the ingredients and it follows your dietary uh, restrictions that you may or may not have. And um, I don't really know the price, unfortunately, because it's not up anymore, but I do think once it's up, uh, back and ready in David's Tea's inventory, I would definitely give it a shot and recommend it if you were looking for a fruity sweet tea with a nice moderate strength in tea flavor. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe. Cheers! If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe. 